Hello, hello. Let's get right. No, don't do that. Uh, it's dinner time, ladies and gentlemen. And we're cooking egg fried rice today. This is one of my favorite meals. It's usually not too bad. It's pretty simple, but impactful, flavorful. And hits a spot after a long day, which is awesome. And... Sorry, I just said it back <laughs> There, I feel better when you're here. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi, whoever's out there. Do um, you want to bring them over? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Basic ingredients for egg fried rice. It's a mystery. Our <laughs> eggs. <laughs> We're getting low. We have half a dozen left. Mm. That is six eggs. Mm -hmm. And we have a ton of rice from when we cooked the stir fry. Mm. So meal prep for the win. What? Just the internet thing. Okay, we can give it a sec. There we go. Okay, while well, that is fixing itself, I'm just going to take some of this rice. How hungry are you, Drew? I'm pretty hungry. And you can take like, a decent chunk. I don't want to take too much because rice is pretty high calorie. Yeah. And we're going to have um, stir fry Ooh. on top, just leftover stir fry. But um, what I like to do with my rice is... So you cook it at least a day before you want to cook egg fried rice mm -hmm. because you want it to be refrigerated and hard. It just cooks better that way. What do you mm -hmm. think? Is this enough for two of us or a little bit more? Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, it's good about. It's probably not the real Wyatt. <laughs> it's a Wyatt. There's Wyatt? There's a Wyatt in the chat, but I don't think it's the Wyatt I know. What did it say? He just said, hey. Hi, Wyatt. <laughs> This is all starting white, and it won't be white by the end. <laughs> Everything is going to be cooked. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to close this. And then I'll start kind of breaking up the, the rice grains. Mm -hmm. Just to make it easier um, to cook on the pan. And normally I cook the eggs first before I add the rice, but this time I think I'm going to try cooking the rice first and then adding the egg. Mm. Just changing it up a little bit because okay. sometimes the egg gets overcooked. And... Mm. That's frustrating. Come on, T-Mobile. What does it do say? It. Well, now it's just 30, but it's like for almost a minute there, it was at like zero FPS. It just the bit rate goes down. No, it's not you, Plump. It's, it's T-Mobile, unfortunately. Dang, T-Mobile. You had one job. Maybe we should look into Xfinity again, because... Our friends said that they have some cheaper plans that are unlimited data. Not here, but our friends also said they that... They only live in the next town over. I mean, how different can it be? Well, one town over, you get fiber. But they said they had to stop streaming because <laughs> the internet was too spotty. So I'm worried about everybody sucking now, which sucks. There's too much moistness in this uh -oh. stir fry. Moistness? Yeah. So I think I'm just going to put that. What is that? It's like the stir fry sauce. Oh, okay. And just moisture from the vegetables. Mm hmm So this is the stir fry we cooked. What day was this? Um, Saturday? Yeah, no. Saturday, I think. Maybe add it to the stir fry while it's cooking. What do you think, Drew? Should we just put it on top or put it in the stir fry? Mm, maybe on top. Okay. That's fine with me. Cool. You want to put it in? Okay. 
for let's say 77 seconds. Can you put the splatter guard on top? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, when was the last time we ate fast food? Do you count Costco? Fast food? Costco's kind of fast food. I mean, you just scan it and you walk right up there. Yeah, that's like pre-made food. So it's a Costco and that was Sunday. Yeah, that's not too long. It's but just... other than that, I don't think we've eaten out this month because we're trying to do this challenge. Yes. Spending as little money as possible. My goal is $60 <laughs> because I have a gift card for $60. Wow. But I'm not sure... $60 for the whole month? Yeah, for two of us. So that's basically a dollar per person, per, person day. per day. That's, that's crazy. That's not bad, but it's basically because I am cooking with the stuff we already have. So I'll show you like some of the things we have over here. Big bag of potatoes, mm -hmm. peanut butter. That's our compost bin. That's popcorn, flour. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at our pantry, as you can see, it's very sparse because we're eating through it, but right. we still have stuff like mashed potatoes, rice, gravy. We have some tortillas, pancake slash waffle Ooh, mix, that's good pasta, too. and like noodles mm -hmm. over here. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, the lentils. <laughs> Here's like more baking stuff and mm -hmm. spices over here. Some more pasta and four pounds of rice. And of course the RGB humidifier. Yes. Can't forget that. <laughs> and then in here, I've shown you guys this pantry space before, but mostly snack stuff. Mm-hmm. Got another thing of flour, five pounds. See, all the bags always push up flour. Oh, yeah. Like they, they have not thought of a better flower storage well, it's system. It's not meant to be long-term storage. I guess like when not. you buy it, you can put it in your own containers. Yeah, that's um, true. And then we have like, you know, pasta sauce, mm -hmm. couple cans of veggies. And then down here, we got garbanzo beans, black beans, and more lentils, and four pounds of pinto beans. So we have like, I would say we have a good amount of food for the month. And basically all we're buying is like veggies, fruits, and maybe meat every once in a while. So I think we can do $60. $60. Yeah, today is- It's a lot of overlap is what it is. It's like food from the previous month. Yeah. Holding us over exactly. in the meantime. So today's the 11th and so mm -hmm. far we've spent $24. Wow, that's we, pretty good. We went grocery shopping once and we ate at Costco once and that came out to $24. So if we're at $30 by the 15th, we're on track, right? That would be- yeah. Sit half the budget fun. and half the month. So we are going grocery shopping again on the 15th, so mm -hmm. I might go a little bit over. That's Do you true. want to scramble these okay. eggs for me? It's scrambling time. But they say now you need an RGB knife to match the humidifier. That sounds right. Link me your favorite RGB knives in the chat. Okay, come on, yokes. Don't be joking me. I need you to break it up. I'm the whisk man. I can whisk better than any. Come on. You can do it. Can I show them our receipt real quick? Yeah. So we go shopping at a place called Winko. And this is the receipt from when we went, where's the camera? There it is. Um, so we bought tortilla chips, bananas, carrots, broccoli, shredded cheese, bell pepper. Nice. Yeah. How's the stirring? It is stirring, but the stream's broken. <laughs> Just doesn't feel like working today, I guess. Slowly made a comeback, but I don't know what to do. Ooh. That's okay. I think that's probably good. Okay. So let's go ahead and move to the pan. Oh, this is too tall.
tall. But up here. Oh, there you go. Is that fine? Just right. Just the right. Extra time to read the receipt because it was frozen on it. Just don't open it. <laughs> okay, otherwise it everything comes crashing down. Yeah. You got it. All right. So can you check the stir fry and see if it feels hot enough? How should I check it? By the steam. Maybe putting your hand over it. it feels kind of warm, but I don't know if that's a good measurement. Oh yeah, the, the plate is hot. Okay, I'll just keep it in there in case we need to heat it up again. Okay. So I'm gonna put my stove on. And then normally I cook the eggs first, but this time I'll do the rice. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do a little bit of canola oil. Once the pan is hot, we'll go ahead and put the rice in. Uh, can you get me the soy sauce in? Should be in the fridge door. Yep. We got plenty. Yes. Yeah, so I love soy sauce. We run out of soy sauce pretty frequently, so I just got this <laughs> giant thing, and this should last us maybe six months. Mm -hmm. Kick them on. We use a lot too. Plum says, I'm in the mood for some grilled beef steaks. Ooh, that sounds good. I can't remember the last time we had steak. Since Was it's it? very expensive. Mm, sounds like a long time ago, but was it the uh, Benihana? So that was February. Uh -huh. We definitely had steak. Well, I had steak at um, that one casino we went to. What was it? The fancy one. The buffet, Bellagio. Oh, the Bellagio. Yeah. In Vegas. Didn't you have steak there? Yeah, I think I did. I but stopped there. I didn't have crab and lobster, so I had a lot of steak instead. Mm. That was a very expensive but very delicious meal. Yeah, we went to the Bellagio for Drew's 24th birthday. My birthday. Yeah. Can't wait for Apple product reviews on this channel, like. Fuji, Red Delicious, Grady oh, Smith. Oh, that's smart. We could do. Well, remember that one time Apple I bought products. like five different apples? Oh, yeah. We could have done an apple test. We'll call it our apple, apple review. Product review. Favorite apple products <laughs> on Taylor's Affair. <laughs> it's perfect. I like hearing it sizzle, but it's not sizzling very much. Mm. Can you move them close so I can hear it? There's just a very faint. Hopefully it gets the message across. Okay, stay there, phone. Don't run off on me. Okay. Yeah, that rice seems pretty fried. <laughs> we yeah, could drop I'll make a little hole apples. in the middle, or maybe on the mm -hmm. side. Our stove kind of slants one way. It does? Yeah. I never noticed. All that. the oil goes to this side. Ah. So I think there's like a slight incline or decline. Yeah. And it does that between different pans too? No. Or I mean, yes. That? Yes, okay. different pans. There you go. Okay. You can just put that in the sink. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put the eggs in. Sink as well? Yes, please. Okay. Mmm. And so it begins. You could make like a yin yang symbol. Hmm. Huh. The egg yolk is the mm -hmm. dot. Eggs are just so versatile. 
it's like the most basic form of food in my opinion it's like just stuff imagine just Egg stuff it's similar to eat. potatoes yeah make anything out of potatoes i love potatoes both in i wonder there. which has more things that you can make that's a good question actually what does the chat think is it can you make more with eggs or potatoes I keep my limit profit at under 20? Yes, for sure. No question. Luckily, all food is in 120 hertz, so it's beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna mix them together. Oh, there's Mike. He says, firmly grasp it. <laughs> Plump's answer is potatoes. I think I would agree. Yeah. Like with think. eggs, what you can make different shapes of eggs. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the same with potatoes, but you can make like scrambled eggs, fried eggs, poached eggs. Mm -hmm. What else? Egg salad. Hmm. What else can you make out of egg? I feel like it goes into a lot of like baking things. Like cakes. Oh, yeah, that's true. And breads and that kind of thing. Meringue, which is egg whites, I think. Hmm. Okay, so now that is pretty much cooked. I'll go ahead and pour some soy sauce over it for that flavor. My favorite. I go overboard on the soy sauce. No, I should probably get so low sodium soy yeah. sauce for you. Maybe. If you like it so much. Gao says you should try the egg first. Yeah, that's because what I said I normally do. That's the If you were at the thing. beginning. If you were in the beginning. All food is in 8K HDR, exactly. Actually, frying the rice first didn't turn out bad. Like, no? Yeah, I mean, the egg seems like it cooked enough. I wanted to make sure the rice was crisp and the eggs wouldn't be overcooked. Mm. Sometimes the eggs get overcooked if you put them in first. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's good. I'm Looks gonna awesome. Turn this off. And then you want to get plates. Mm -hmm. It's probably the quickest meal that we made so far. Very fast. And let's put them over here break. for the plating. Oh, okay. Should I bring the camera over? Yeah. Okay. If you made the eggs in a yin yang shape, it would be a omelette. I got it. He made a joke and I understood. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because I like. Uh, it looks soy amazing. Sauce. Everything looks good when you're hungry. Yeah. But this looks particularly good. This one can be your plate, huh? You gave me more? Yeah, you, well, you normally eat more. That's nice of you. You are a growing boy. <laughs> Actually, I'm not, right? I'm shrinking. The incredible shrinking man. I'm a shrinking boy. Okay. May help you achieve dinner peace. <laughs> oh, wow, that was good. What, dinner peace? Like inner peace. <laughs> that was clever. Wow. Well done. Okay, I think I'm gonna cook this just a tad bit longer. I'll get it well done. Yeah. Like cook. Okay, that's enough food puns. He said that was his last pun, he promised. Alright, fair enough. Wow. Fluffy. It smells also awesome. Some other things left over from when we cooked the oh, stir yeah. fry. We have some lime wedges. Mm-hmm. And some chopped peanuts as a garnish. Mm. That blue apron just keeps on painting. Yeah. So much left over. <laughs> I'm so glad you found that deal. Yeah, me too. It's too bad you can't keep doing that forever. <laughs> that would be awesome. So I pay six fifty for a meal for both of us. Indefinitely? Yeah. Yeah. Plump says he's going to start cooking hot dogs. What else could I put in it that sounds good? 
feel like cooking for high people today. What? <laughs> chili. For high. Ooh, chili on hot dogs. Do you want this out of the microwave? Yes, please. I don't think I've ever had a chili dog in my life. Really? I think I well, had one from Sonic once. I grew up thinking like chili looked gross and like sounded like it tasted gross. But uh -huh. then I tried your grandma's chili and it was really good. Oh, that's true. So maybe if it was her chili on top of a hot dog, I would mm. do it. Yeah, I wouldn't pay for most hot dogs. Costco is pretty much the only hot dog I'd be interested in. It is one of the better ones, I think. Oh, this is really hot. Yeah. So as a recap from the stir fry video we made, in this stir fry we have broccoli, bok choy, bell pepper, carrots, mm. onion, and pieces of chicken. Yum. This is too hot. You microwaved it too hard. Oh. I think Whoops. I have a glove. I'll do this with that. There you go. Breaking it. Where was that oven mitt from? Um, our good friend Linda. Oh. I mean, that was nice of her. Mrs. No, I shouldn't say last <laughs> name. Yeah, Linda. Linda, get to us. That was nice of her. Yeah, this is my first time using it, actually. Perfect. I'm trying to make this look appealing. Mm -hmm. It's not working very well. <laughs> it looks good to me. We'll just have to let it cool because it's going to be extra hot. Yeah. Mm. Stream seems more stable now, which is good. Nice. It took a few minutes to figure itself out. Pile the veggies on top, and then you want to do a close-up while mm -hmm. I garnish it. Yeah. Am I a fan of hot sauces, the hot ones YouTube interview show? Yeah, I don't watch every one, but it's a fun show. Drew wants to be on that show. I want to be on the show, just for the free food. So in this, we have black and white sesame seeds. Go ahead and gently... Sprinkle it. Mm -hmm. Try to at least. Oh, God. What? The stream freaked out as soon as I switched to the other lens. I won't do that. It's good now. Okay, we'll go to the other one. Okay. Well, it seeds like to pop everywhere. Mike says drinking water is good, eating hot dogs is nice, but consuming hot dog water isn't. Uh, Hot dog water. Okay, put some peanuts. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay. Wow. That's going to provide just the right amount of crunch to go with the softness of the egg rice. Mm. That's a good visualization. Contrast. And then top it off with the lime wedges. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm not sure. Would lime be good on egg fried rice? Maybe not. I'll try it on okay. half of it. Sure. Then go half and half. <laughs> There's Nolan. He's like three streams in a day. It was actually four, but Whoa. one was a member stream. So clearly, you're not a member. <laughs> yeah, it was a busy day. Squeeze. I don't have chili, but I did find pear slices in a can from a while ago. Might eat that later. Pear slices. You're not a big pear fan, right? No, there was this kind of pear that I really liked. Mm -hmm. I think we bought it from Costco when I was young. Mm -hmm. But it's very like crunchy and tart. Mm. And then the pears that I bought as an adult were normally squishy and like didn't have yeah. that crispness that I wanted. Smushy pears aren't as good. Yeah, so I can eat maybe like half of a pear without wanting to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Nadine, a good crunch. All right, you wanna do close ups on those? Okay. Get some cool shots. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a com combi uh, combining. Combination. 
of Asian and Hispanic cultures on the dinner plate. Wait, what? What part of this is Hispanic? I don't know. Ask Mike. <laughs> he wrote the message. I think stir fry and egg fried rice are both Asian. Oh, okay. It's a combination of Asian and Asian. <laughs> or as we call it, Asian. <laughs> <laughs> That's the proper term when combined. Okay, let's right. put this over here so we can start eating. Okay. I'm gonna switch the camera around and hope it doesn't freak out. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what's up with T Mobile after this, but. Taylor said food B roll. <laughs> well, I have a whole channel just for food B roll. Oh my god. What's the B roll? Just of the food close ups. Uh, Egg fried rice, royalty free beer. Uh, Woo. That'd be funny. This is a good amount of food. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you had a smaller lunch today, right? What did I have? You had two pieces of bacon. Oh, yeah. It was like two breakfast eggs. for lunch. Yeah. Two eggs and cheesy pesto toast. You mm. guys want the recipe? Put it in the comments. Yeah. That's a good uh, s midday snack. We should do a, a little piece on that one. Sometime. Yeah. We could do like um, what we have for lunch kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, you got your fork. Oh, here, let me mod mic because that's what he does. Thank Wait, you. which mic is this? This is the mic we know. Oh, hi, Mike. You have to clarify that because okay. you said mic last time. And I was like, which Yeah, mic? there was a different mic last time that was not that mic. I don't, I don't see him today, but why Mike, basically? Why Mike? Why Mike? D-roll for dinner roll. Oh, we're keeping that tradition going? This is the last one. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is this is the end of an era, ladies and gentlemen. So that means this is our fourth cooking stream because we only have four bottles of this. Sadly, this one will be a little shorter, but... That's okay. Sometimes the food doesn't take an hour to make. Yeah. And that's it just a, happened to be that's a quick dinner. Thing. Oh, yeah. can you open that for me, please? It's got you strong arms. It. Thank you. Just, guys love when they get asked that. They Unless they can't open it, then they hate it. That's just embarrassing. I've never had that happen. Good. It's always open. How many bars of reception do you have? I think we've had a different set of glasses every single stream. Really? Yeah. We didn't reuse was... the fancy ones? No, nope, because we had like, oh, the right. wine glasses, then we had the stemless wine glasses, then we had the plastic ones that we took from the train. Oh my god. Wow, we keep <laughs> we it, have so many different glasses. We keep it glasses. interesting, huh? It keeps yeah. going back. Well, it's still very good. All right, shall we try this? Yes. This is how it is. Looks good. Bon appetit. Thank you. Mm. All right. Thank you. Mmm. Is it still good? That is solid. The rice doesn't taste old at all. Well, it's not old. It's like three days old. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, it tastes new because it is. Mm. But Complements uh, the stir fry really well. Mm. They go, they go together. Mm. I think I got some of the lime. Do you like it? Yeah, more than I thought I would. So I didn't, you want more? Yeah, I didn't think I would like the lime, but it's actually quite nice. Make it more even between. Mm. Yeah, just. Adds a little tang in there, Good. which is nice. How did our two like days pepper. go? Two days? Our, us two. How did our days go? Oh, pretty good. Um, I had a friend over for breakfast, and then I went on a two-mile walk with her. Mm. Came home and worked on downgrading my iCloud, our iCloud. Cloud. Yeah, that was pretty stressful, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I had like a thousand videos on my phone and twelve thousand photos. 
Wow. And he backed up my phone to our iMac. Mm -hmm. So now I have one video left on my phone, but I'm still going through the photos. And I'm down to about 3,000. Wow. Yeah, we just barely made it. Because um, the billing cycle starts tomorrow. Yeah. So this was kind of our last day. So we were paying for the 200 gigabyte tier, which is $3 a month. So much. It's not that much, but if we use it for the rest of our lives, then yeah, it's going to be a lot of money. It's $360. Every yeah. 10 years. Yeah, $360 a decade, which makes it $3,000 a lifetime. <laughs> if we start at zero to live to 100. Well, we started a few years ago, and we're going to live to be... 120, 120 probably <laughs> average lifespan medical mm. technology improves and our great cooking mm. this food is going to help us live to be over 100 i think we've both agreed to die at the same time right <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> we can't control it but i don't want to live without you mm. thanks just kidding. I don't want to live without Thanks. you. <laughs> mm. Oh, Nolan uses the 5 gig option. Mm. That's what our goal That's is. Good. We want to get there. This is really nice. I like the uh, bell pepper pieces. Yeah, I do like bell pepper. Kind of absorbs the lime flavor mm -hmm. and then makes it feel like a whole piece of I don't know, new, more neutral lime. Mm hmm. Mm. Very good. Do you have a pepper? Um, yeah, yeah. And then this just feels like liquid gold. Not literally, that would be far too hot. Cheers. Cheers. Man, these glasses are cool because they got measurements on them. You know exactly how much you're drinking. Oh, mine doesn't have that. Whoops. Oh, even though they're the same brand. Oh, no, they're not. This is Ball. And this is... Care. 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 K-E-R-R. Hmm. Have we tried HelloFresh? No. We have is not. Is that the same thing? Is it's it? similar. Probably just slightly Blue different Blue Apron's pricing. the only meal delivery service that we've tried. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah. HelloFresh is probably just somewhat different pricing, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think it's similar. I think that's like the most popular one in America. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I only would be interested with like a sale or promo going mm -hmm. on. Their normal pricing doesn't seem very... Because it's usually a better deal to get a bunch of groceries all at once, right? Opposed yeah. Opposed to one meal at a time exactly ship. so if you guys missed in the first half of the stream i mentioned we're trying to budget our food for this month to be under 60 dollars and so if we were doing like hello fresh or something like that we'd spend probably all of that within one week mm -hmm. so it's just not feasible since we're trying to really scrimp and save this month which is a good idea because it's basically a recession now the stock market. According to who? I don't know, the internet. Mm. They're seeing the overall trend dive as hard or harder than it did in March of 2020. So it's wow. like, you got, it's good to be wise with your dollar, you know. When you buy the dip, but it keeps on dipping. <laughs> <laughs> when you buy the French onion dip. Mm. Um, Google Photos screwed us all. Mm. You know, well, they still are holding like terabytes of storage for free, which I do appreciate. But um, the iCloud thing was always limited. Um, oh, he found out about my video and uploaded everything to Google Photos. HelloFresh has really good deals, like 16 free meals, free shipping. That sounds too good to be true. There's probably mm -hmm. a catch to that, right? I don't know. 16 free meals with free shipping. 
for what? What are they getting out of that? <laughs> it's like 16 free meals when you buy 300. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great price. Um, oh, Plump has the free 15 gigs on Google Drive, but then he uses three accounts. It's clever. Um, yeah, it's all about that price per dollar. Well, it's a shorter stream, but do you have any closing thoughts? We can just want? keep streaming. Too. Oh, okay, cool. You guys can see us finish our meals. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting. Whoa, the Streamlabs logo went away. Hmm, cool. I think it comes in and out. That was trippy. Yeah, now, now is the time to hold and buy. <laughs> That's what you do. You don't panic, you don't freak out. You hold, then you buy? I think hold. you have to buy it before you can hold, hold it. Hold or buy. Hold what you have. Uh, okay. Buy more if you can. Mm -hmm. Just don't sell right now. That's what That's what the market means. We have no money to invest. <laughs> Not in stock, at least. Because we got car come, car season coming up. <laughs> mm -hmm. We gotta be prepared. I hope the food we eat doesn't ruin the car. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Like the white interior. The food we eat? Like spilling the food. We're not eating in the car. Oh, right. No eating allowed. <laughs> we have white seats. No. <laughs> mm. We have to find an old pixel or go to T-Mobile. Yeah, this whole cloud storage thing is really quite the trap. problem. Yeah, trap. Mm -hmm. That's what's mm -hmm. been so stressful is there's, I'll probably do a video on it, but there's like things that take up space that aren't anything. Mm -hmm. And you're not sure what you're deleting when you turn those settings off. They make it very difficult to downgrade. Yeah. Yep. They basically just hold your uh, memories hostage. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to lose these family pictures, so I'm mm -hmm. going to keep paying for iCloud. Basically, their goal is to annoy you out of your money. It's like the process we are going through of backing up yeah. and downloading originals. And, and also, whenever you see that message, it's like, your iCloud storage is getting low, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, you have to upgrade. Yeah, that whole prompt freezes the screen. Mm -hmm. like you can't do anything else till you hit buy more storage or whatever. Ouch. You okay? And just punch the counter. Mm. Calm down, honey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so violent. <laughs> Manuel says he's watching from the Caribbean. And what part of the Caribbean? Dominican Republic. Oh. We know some people from there. From 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Oh, this mm. is so good. Can we have Lipton iced tea sponsor us, please? <laughs> we'll accept payment in form of drink. I seriously <laughs> would. <laughs> Can we just have some drinks? Mm. Shouldn't you sell now and buy when the recession hits because of lower prices? That doesn't make sense. Shine. Don't sell now because it's it's low. Prices are low. You want to sell when it's peaking. Don't don't sell when everyone else is. Mm -hmm. You never know when the actual low is until it starts going back up. So that part sucks. Mm -hmm. no, it's just kind of a challenge. How how patient and how. Um, long can you hold? Mm -hmm. But hope it would crash the real estate market. That's what it never does. Say that again. I hope it would crash the real estate market eventually. It'd be nice to see those prices go the other way. Yeah, except we'd still have no money to buy mm -hmm. a house with. Well, I don't know. These food streams are gonna pick up a lot of traction. <laughs> yeah, we have three people watching. <laughs> you guys are going to pay our new mortgage <laughs> our next house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I'm more of a believer of local storage than cloud. I'll take advantage of cloud when I can. 
So it's hard to justify paying annually for storage instead of just once. Yeah, that's where we are now. We're kind of like, let's not pay for uh, cloud storage if at all possible. Mm -hmm. Manuel says that's not our best reputation. <laughs> it's a great reputation. I don't know anyone from where we live that's on night day. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure it's a beautiful place. We yeah. swim in the Caribbean. Yeah, we visited Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's kind of part of the Caribbean. It's pretty close. Yeah, the Culebra Island we went to. Mm -hmm. That was that was a Caribbean sea. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. That was so much fun. We hung out there for like five hours, six mm -hmm. hours. It was a while. We originally intended staying there for like 14 hours. Oh that? yeah, I remember that. Well, not 14. Why yeah, did 14, we go back? So Was it we the left same at like fleece? 12. Mm. Say that again? Was it the same? Sand fleas. Oh, that's why we left? Yeah. Yeah, the sand fleas were really bad. Mm. But they went away, kind of, as the day went on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so picturesque. Mm -hmm. Big yacht showed up mm -hmm. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be there, I think. But I kept trying to say, like, let's go out there. Let's, like, introduce ourselves. Mm -hmm. I don't think Jeff Bezos cares who you are. I think it was Manuel. Oh, boat. Manuel. We were, we were going to see him. <laughs> I was like, honey, what if he watches the channel? He'll give us a ride. Um, just con <laughs> Puerto Rico is part of us here in the Caribbean, just controlled by the U.S. Mm. I don't know why they don't get statehood. We're not going to get into politics right okay. now. Because I have no clue. I don't know either. But I think it'd be great. If they turned Puerto Rico into a state, and also Washington, D.C., mm. so they can have more, I don't know, rights. Yeah. There are a lot of people there. Um, YJ says, thank you for your insight. I'm thinking about the bulk price of subscriptions to change my perspective on the monthly cost. I owe all of that to her, because mm -hmm. I did not think that way before I met Louise. Louise was the one that was like, no, even if it's a seemingly small subscription, that stacks up over time. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, you'll have spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on these subscriptions just because, what's it called? Death by a thousand cuts? It's by like, a thousand subscriptions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these tiny ones that don't seem like a big deal stack up and turn into a huge expense, but they're so small and... Even something so, like Netflix. You used to pay for Netflix, and that was, what, $12 a month back then? Back then, it was a lot cheaper, yeah. And so that was just him by himself. That's like mm -hmm. $144 a year. And then within 10 years, that's $1,400. Mm -hmm. Especially when you compare that same money, if you would have invested it, mm -hmm. in the stock market at the time. Right. Over the course of 10 years, it's a lot more than 1000 <laughs> Mm -hmm. So it's not just cash comparison. Oops. I lost something. I found it. Um, with the cloud stuff like iCloud at 5, Google Drive at 15, Mega at 20, Mega can go up to 50. <laughs> you just have an account with every service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just have the free version. Didn't know she was the inspiration. Thank you. You're welcome. Think of all the money you've saved people, honey. Just by... <laughs> you were me. my first conversion. <laughs> well, it's it's like addicting, though. Like, once you get hooked on it, it starts to become really, really fun. To be yeah. like, okay, what can we, what can we live good. less with? And it's not that, like, we're going to go bankrupt or something. Or, mm -hmm. like, we're in debt or anything. It's just, like, motivating. to You feel more free, I guess. When you're not weighed down by, like, monthly expenses in your life. Yeah. Like, some months, Drew and I don't even spend $1,000 for both of us. And I feel like that's pretty low. 
It is. Like, that's below um, poverty rate. It is. But that's only because we've, like, made or taken steps to lower our bills. So, like, you know, we paid off our house, and so now we don't have a mortgage or rent. And that really helps with keeping bills down. That's probably the biggest help. Yeah. yeah. And the next biggest one would probably be food. Like, food is the one thing you can't really escape in life. You can't cut it out. Yeah. You can't pay it off like a mortgage, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, you're going to be eating food forever. Well, that would be interesting. Well, actually, that would be like growing your own garden. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's still costs to making a garden, though. That's true. Even if you had animals, they they require food. Yeah. Um, and maintenance. There's maintenance involved. Usually, even people... All the people I know that grow food have pests. Pests? What like, do you mean? Like deer come in or rabbits come in uh, and eat the food, so they have to, like, buy things to protect the food. Mm. I don't know how common it is for someone to, like, grow their own food and they don't spend anything. Mm-hmm. You only water it with rainwater, mm-hmm. and all the soil is free. And mm-hmm. I bet someone's done a pretty good job, but honestly, I have a hard time believing it would get lower than what we what we've done just by buying at the right places. Mm-hmm. And just being and eating less. Eating less is a good tactic. Like we do intermittent fasting, so we only eat between twelve and eight p.m. And that literally saves us a third of our food budget because we don't eat breakfast. No. Right. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys my plate. You clean. My motto is no crumb left behind. You clean house. <laughs> and you you have cleaned this house. Oh. Yeah, barely. <laughs> um, I started subscribing to stuff. Only subscribe to stuff I get worth out of regularly. That's fair. Louise has done a lot for Taylor City of 2018. Drew was a whole lot of different man back then, renting big offices. That's very true. There's nothing wrong with big offices if you got the cash to back it up. <laughs> Drew did not have the cash to back it up because he was living paycheck to paycheck. Sorry to out you. It's okay. It's fair. But. It he... was. I never got into credit card debt or anything. But. I definitely was on a, a sketchy path if I would have continued. Yeah. Basically, every time I got a paycheck, I was like, that's my budget. Don't spend more than that. And while that's better than being in debt and, like, being in the red, Mm -hmm. it's still a dangerous way of thinking. Like, oh, I made this much this month, Mm -hmm. so I'm going to spend it on eating out. There goes 500 bucks at McDonald's. It was very dangerous. I'm grateful that... Nothing ever got too bad. Like, luckily, yeah. the channel was doing well enough at the time that I could afford everything. Yeah. Without Drew was like under. an addict with the money to support his addiction. Right. <laughs> and his addiction was tech. I never tech had products. to hit rock bottom, but I could yeah. have if I wasn't careful. Tech products and fast food was your weakness, I think. For sure. And the office. Of course, the, a lot of your the office money. was the most expensive part. And also every expense involved at the office. Like, the mm-hmm. Wi-Fi there was more expensive. I remember one month you said the pg e bill was, like, $700. I think it hit 1000 once. 1000 I would die. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, it was so hot. $1,000. That's, like, five months of food for us. I know. No, like, it's definitely that crazy? turned around. But what's interesting is, like, just being more conscious about our spending Mm -hmm. opened up uh possibilities that i didn't think were possible like back when i was at the office and i was just kind of treating each (laughs) i didn't get into credit card debt your tone sort of made it sound like a hobby (laughs) (laughs) more like an addiction Mm. yeah i mean i think it's a bit of both Mm. the buying the latest tech stuff was definitely I could say part addiction, part hobby, because it was fueled by, well, it's for work and it's a write-off and what. I had a lot more write-offs back in 2018. That's for sure. Yeah. But. But the write-offs don't always make up for how much you'd actually save no. if you just didn't spend. You're usually better off not. Yeah. Spending. Our tax lady from when we used to have our taxes done professionally, said that you'd only save like. Or like. She said something about 70%. 
You'd save 70% more. Yeah, it was like a 70-30. It was like spending $1,000 on equipment saves you $300 on taxes. In taxes, yeah, exactly. So it's not like... And I see that argument a lot, especially in the EV space. People are like, well, it's a write-off. Just buy, It's a write-off. Yeah. I mean, if it's you like, need something, then yeah, I'm going to sure. say go ahead. But write-off isn't like a magic wand that means now it's no free. No taxes, yeah. That's what a lot of people on the internet seem to think. Well, it's a write-off, so it basically costs nothing. I wish it was. Nothing. That's not how it works. Um, but yeah, back, back in the office days, when... The, the guys rented the Tesla and stuff. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. And we looked at the prices. I was like, no way. I could, mm-hmm. We could never buy that. Or the concept of some people are like, you ever think about buying a house? I was just like, oh, I can't afford that. Like I had boxed myself into this financial uh, hole mm-hmm. w- where I thought there were all these things that weren't possible because of how much I was saving, which was practically nothing. Yeah. And... Once you inspired me and encouraged me to look into the spending and look into maybe you shouldn't just blow everything each month, yeah. then it opened up so much more potential. So I was like, oh, actually, we can buy a house or mm-hmm. we could buy a Tesla. This um, didn't happen until after we were married. Yeah. It was very I, slow process. If I had known like how <laughs> bad your spending was, I definitely would have like given you more advice. Mm-hmm. But I didn't really know about... Your finances. I can't remember. Until we were married. Like, I didn't... I didn't know you... Like, your parents could see your bank account until we got married. And I was like, oh, why... Yeah. Why would you have your parents watching yeah, over you? Yeah, it sounds you? weird in hindsight. I mean, when you're, like, 20 years old, you should be, you know, yeah. separated. Well, we grew up in very different households. Yeah. And I was definitely really close with my parents. Because they set up my bank account when well, my dad set up my bank account but he never was like attached to it well that's what it was back when they did it it was like you have the parents account and then like the kids mm-hmm. account is a sub section of it because yeah. you know they they just want to know what's going on <laughs> and that was just how my account was set up i never gave a second thought to it until mm-hmm. i got married and you were like that's weird <laughs> you're like i yeah, don't think I mean, it's i understand like for a child sure but like you had already moved out and yeah. living on your own mm-hmm. and they could see your paychecks going in. I just, it's different from what I'm used to. Yeah. No, least. and I, I, I agreed after you said that. I was like, yeah, that's, that's fair. Like we don't need to be attached mm-hmm. anymore. So we went back to the account. Out in the end. Yeah. Um, people fixate on the cash back percentage, but they don't realize that they're likely spending more money than they would have without the cash back incentive. That's a huge issue, I yeah, think, like, in the credit card Oh, three percent cash back. Let me spend five hundred dollars on a new TV. <laughs> well, I think there's one reason I don't want to get a paid credit card, mm-hmm. even though they have better rewards, is because they influence your spending. Because it's encourages you to be like, well, it's worth it when I spend this much on these things. So. Now it's to the point where if you don't buy those things, mm-hmm. the credit card is now a waste. So people feel like when you have that paid card, like, I, I have to go on this trip or I have to buy such and such. Mm-hmm. Apple Card is free, luckily. And um, I feel like we're not buying anything with the Apple Card that we wouldn't have bought anyway. Yeah. At least I never felt like we used it specifically for a purchase. I, I mean, we've definitely of. had impulse buys, but it's usually like, oh, bag of chips sounds good. Yeah, but it wasn't because, like, the Apple Card had some promo going on. And mm-hmm. We were like, oh, let's go to this place, because... Right. There's, I mean, I knew that it had the 3% cash back at Walgreens thing, and we, but we needed to pick up a prescription. So it wasn't like a... A splurge. It was like a, yeah, it just worked out. We need to buy this somewhere. Might as well do it there. Mm-hmm. Um, not sure if you do. Is it possible to get the Apple Card as your first credit card? I can, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure what background checks they do. I've heard of people doing it. I think the credit limit's really low if you're a first time owner. Which is um, fine. You don't want to have like yeah, it's probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah, <on laughs> start out with a fairly small credit card. I barely remember my first credit card. 
I don't remember what they asked for or what the limit was. I was pretty, I was pretty, uh, I think I was I like, remember I got rejected for my first credit Oh, card. you did? Wow. Yeah, I like applied to Wells Fargo. Mm. Uh, I must have not qualified for something. Interesting. So I went to Bank of America instead and that's mm -hmm. where my first credit card was. I see. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was, but I think that Wells Fargo had some deal going on where they were like, if you want to build credit, you know, uh, accept this offer. And that was my first credit card, but I canceled that one since then, which I've heard is a bad idea. To <laughs> cancel, yeah. Didn't your credit score go down by like 30% or 30 points? <laughs> Not 30%. <Yeah. 30%. laughs> 30% would be bad. Yeah, it went down a little bit, but we had already... Um... <gasps> dessert? Oh my goodness. We like to have dessert here what sometimes. These Trader are... Joe's. Yeah, Trader Joe's peanut butter cups. I had them in the mm. freezer, so I think they need to... Oh yeah, Sit let's let them thaw. Thaw out a little bit. I mean, you can suck on it. That's true. I like the more thawed okay. version. But I should just keep it in the fridge. Actually, mm. it I'll might be that. good. I considered five percent Amazon Prime credit card, but I need to spend twenty four hundred dollars to break even on the hundred and twenty dollar Prime membership per year. Oh, Prime is such a joke. Cut it off. <laughs> End it. You can still get free. That shipping. was another thing I was paying for back yeah. when we first got married. Remember? Mm -hmm. You can still get free shipping if you spend over $25, so, I mean, it's not it's even... It's usually pretty fast, It's not too. good to buy from Amazon anyway, so might as well just limit yourself, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, there's this thing called patience, <laughs> and it teaches you character. If you... I mean, I know some people that buy a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Who where I could understand they probably I there's probably some people that spend more than twenty four hundred dollars a year on Amazon. Uh -huh. I don't necessarily think it's a good idea, but they may do it. Maybe it's for their job or their business. Twenty four hundred. That's like buying a TV and a couple bikes. So I'm sure someone's done it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So I I, I know people with the Prime credit card that can probably justify it, but mm -hmm. I think you should just really really question how mandatory is it you know yeah. like make sure you really need it well they do get you it. because they're like you know you could be paying zero dollars for this order if you mm -hmm. apply for the credit card because it's sixty dollars off but does mm -hmm. it cost money to have the credit card you need a prime membership oh so to have the credit in card. a way yeah oh that's kind of slimy that's why i don't consider it a oh free credit card what if you had prime for just one month got the credit card canceled prime are they going to uh, cancel your credit card right away? That doesn't make sense. That's I'm, interesting. I haven't thought about that. Loophole, guys. Come <laughs> on. Cancel your Prime memberships. You've got the credit card already. I don't know how that works. I'm really interested now. Someone must have tried that, right? I don't know. Um, they really influence your expenses with the cash back offers. I just want the Apple card and only use Apple Pay as much as possible. I'd rather tap the watch or phone. To pay, then carry a wallet and use cash. I will, yeah, I will always tap to pay if I can. Um, my teacher told me the possible horrors of credit cards. I was always not really a fan of them since I was a kid. I didn't understand it. It's kind of a weird concept. You buy this and you don't have the money for it. <laughs> you buy this later. But it's very much a capitalist idea. Buy now, pay later. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to wait. Or as most people, buy now, pay never. Uh, and just declare, <laughs> I declare bankruptcy. bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, it's it's useful for building credit scores. So. But why do you need a credit score? If you paid for everything with the cash you have, you mm. don't need it. I would agree it's best to pay in cash for Almost everything except a house. That's the one thing I'll I'll push back on and say I understand why people don't buy houses in cash. No, I think people should just live in their cars <laughs> and in a shed. Their two thousand dollar cars until they have five million dollars saved up to buy a really nice house. <laughs> That's like the one thing because mm -hmm. real estate appreciates so regularly for the most part. Yeah. And the likelihood of someone having enough cash to buy a house is so rare. It's like mm -hmm. incredibly rare that it'd be like, 
Get a free credit card and build your credit score. Don't put anything on there that you don't know you can afford. You know, don't treat it like a separate account. Treat it like yeah. a debit account. And uh, so we've never done that. We've never missed a credit card payment or carried a balance or anything. Um, so buying property, be, the interest rate can be a lot lower if you if you have a good credit score. So that's... That's like the one thing I would I would say it is justifiable, but mm-hmm. yeah, loan on a car. Uh, We're not financial advisors, by the way, no, so feel do free to research. not take any of our advice. Mm-hmm. It's freaking out. They didn't hear any of that. Oh nope. <laughs> well, shoot! Well, it says it's recovered, but it doesn't look recovered. Oh, just as I reached for it to check it. Should I repeat what I just said? Yeah, go okay. over it again. So for Christmas, we got a Trader Joe's gift card, and I'd never shopped there before, so it was a new experience for me, and we got a bunch of different things. We got the peanut butter cups and some, like, frozen meals that we can try, like frozen pizza. I heard the orange chicken was really good, pot stickers, shoe bao, mm. which are, like, steamed buns with meat on the inside. Oh, those are awesome. What else did we get? Oh, um, butter chicken with non so maybe we could do a trader joe's themed cooking episode mm. trader uh, joe's is interesting they've why? like almost all their own brand right in the yeah like they all their sell mostly stuff. their own brand but it's a lot of it's like the same as other companies just rebranded yeah i guess like these uh-huh. these are like the reese's peanut butter cups but but I think these are kind of better. Yeah, they're dark chocolate. Oh, think. interesting. Oh, well, seems really hard. <laughs> that was my tooth breaking. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Wonder where. Hmm. Like that business model doesn't Sub-trip. sound like it would work, but it does. It works for me. It works for you. <laughs> I don't think we'll shop there again. (laughs) We'll only go there Unless I get another gift card. card. Yeah. I mean, there are definitely some things that were like... Most things were affordable. Mm -hmm. Under like $5 or so. Yeah. But Drew and I typically don't buy pre-prepared like frozen meals. That's more of a luxury. I think. Frozen meals. Yeah. They're a luxury. Like most of the meals we eat are, you know, home cooked. Yeah. Or if we're lazy, we'll just get fast food or feels, costco or whatever that feels luxury to me yeah well, i prefer that never been at trader joe's but it sounds like an alternate version of all these by your description i've never heard of all these but i've heard of all these oh you have mm-hmm. i think i've shopped there before in australia yeah, yeah. australia I have narrowed. it doesn't sound like that business model would work but it does what just the whole, like, we're going to sell only our stuff, but it's other people's stuff? Just, like, slightly altered? I don't think that's necessarily true. What is it, then? They have their, their own stuff. That's, like, their own stuff. Yeah, I just meant, like, so much of the stuff there looks identical. Like what? Like, they have their Name own version things. of Oreos. They have their own uh, version of Reese's Cups. They have their Name own version of five uh, things. <laughs> peanut butter pretzels. They have their own... But who's the original for the peanut butter pretzels? How do you know they're not the original and everyone else is just copying? I just remember seeing a lot of stuff from that I'd seen elsewhere. Mm-hmm. That's all. Um, someone said it was ironic that you were denied a Wells Fargo credit card because they were caught in 2016 making new credit cards without their customers' consent. Yeah, didn't we watch a documentary about that? I remember that, yeah. <laughs> they were just make accounts nonstop. Right? Mm-hmm. Make accounts nonstop. Yeah, I'm... I'm liking the it's very freeing and like alleviating to um have as little monthly expenses as possible and just keeping things down i wonder where mm-hmm. in the world it's like the optimum balance between like affordability and quality of life because you could probably Southeast asia if oh, you already right. have the money mm. i'd retire there yeah yeah. Where is what country specifically? Is Thailand, Philippines. Oh, if I already yeah. have family in the Philippines, that would be an easy transition. Easier. True. Hardest thing mm-hmm. to leave would be family and friends. For sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. And also, like, I love America. I love yeah. living here. I mean, obviously, there's horrible things happening in this country, which I'm not going to talk about right now. But I'd still rather live here than anywhere else. Really? Yeah. Is that another country? Maybe Australia. Yeah. But housing there is even more expensive than in the U.S., so... It is? <laughs> yep. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Well, most of the people live in, like, big cities. Uh-huh. And it's definitely not cheap to live in the big cities. Yeah, you win and lose some, I feel like, everywhere. Like... Yeah. You get the free health care, which is a huge advantage. Mm-hmm. But the taxes are way higher. So it's kind of like a... Catch-22. Catch-22, because... I've seen the income tax rates in like Canada or Australia where a lot of people are like, um, at least a lot of my viewers comment from whenever mm-hmm. I mention healthcare, they're always like, oh my God, you pay for healthcare. Yeah. Then I look at the tax rates and I'm like, ooh, that's how, you yeah. know, it's kind of goes one way or the other. But all these doesn't do stocking minimal employees in their own brands and partnering with similar brands that offer the same quality but cheaper i'd recommend going yeah i've heard really good things about all these mm. um we don't have an aldi's nearby we live in california i'm not sure if there are any Aldi's. i've here. never heard of it so i've heard it's of it. possible but <laughs> i think they're in other states like utah mm. colorado trader joe's is not very big is that a unique yeah. thing i think so yeah they, they always seem pretty I small i watched a small uh, video on it Mm -hmm. and they have like 4,000 different SKUs I might be completely wrong but like a normal grocery store would have like 40,000 so Mm -hmm. they have like way less variety I guess Mm. but it's like higher quality like interesting stuff right yeah yeah every time I'm there I'm always like oh that looks good Ooh, yeah, like although the whole freezer section looks so good yeah and I remembered having mochi from Trader Joe's as a kid Mm. I was like this really good, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that stuff is light. And I wanted to buy some mochi with my gift card, but then I wanted too many other things, and I didn't want to go over the, you know, $30 that we had mm-hmm. to spend. Mm-hmm. So I just, I gave up the mochi. It was $5, <laughs> and I was like, that's how much the orange chicken is. Mm. I'd rather have orange chicken than mochi. She gave up the mochi. <laughs> that's such a fun word to say. Mochi. <laughs> I'm not sure what mochi is. I think it's like tapioca paste or something because it's kind of like jelly. Yeah. Jelly consistency. I remember trying it a few oh, years ago. Oh, by the way, it's mochi ice cream. So it's like mochi right. with ice cream inside. Eat that like was that. really good. I haven't had it. I think I've only had it that one time when we were visiting your family. What? We what had it have in, it? Uh, I think I could say it because no one lives there now. What? <laughs> Whisper. Okay. Yeah. Good. But when we were visiting your family in Folsom, we they had mochi there. Mochi. I don't ice remember cream. that. Really? I do. I remember. I was like, "What is this?" And you were like, "It's mochi. Try it. It's really good. Oh, it's okay. Ice cream I didn't mochi." Believe you. So I I tried some and I thought it was really good, but I think that's the only time we've gotten oh. it. I've never had it since then. Yeah, I've only had it twice in my life, I guess. Once. As a kid, and then that one time. Well, maybe we should spoil ourselves someday when yes. this food budget month is over. When Taylor's food gets monetized, we shall celebrate <laughs> with mochi. <laughs> okay. Mochi taste test. I think that's good. Go really? ahead. Yeah. Still feels hard. Taste test. Oh, wait, should we do a separate video while they're on screen? Too late. <laughs> He's popped the whole thing <laughs> in his mouth. I don't know, understand what you meant. Like a Taylor Swift food video. We could do like a behind the scenes. Oh. Next time. Is this the last of it? There's more. Okay. We'll save it. <laughs> if I said it was the last, would you spit it out? <laughs> no. Zach you says... You bite it. It's fine. I just... I don't like crunchy. I want, I want it to be kind Soft. of gooey. Yeah. I don't know your intentions with the channel yet, but I'm a personal trainer, wellness professional. I'd be more than happy to help out with anything. Oh my oh. god. That sounds amazing. Can you train us? Or I'm not really sure. <laughs> We've already lost a lot of weight. So that's a good start, right? Not a lot. I mean, we weren't like morbidly obese or anything. I was. You were just obese, but not morbidly. Oh, not morbid. Yeah. Not morbid. It was just regular. I obese. was morbius. <laughs> Morbiously obese. Morbius obese. 
I was over 240. Yeah. At one point, Drew was like 245 when we mm-hmm. were first married. Pounds. Yeah. So, how many kilograms is that for our UK and other people? What's 245 pounds? Wait, in kilos? I'm going to guess 100. 111.13 kilograms. I was only 11. I was 111 kilograms. And now I'm 189. So how many is that? What's 189 pounds in kilos? The answer is 85.7 so kilograms. kilograms. So well, he went from 111 kilograms until to 85. I lost 35? No, more. More than that. 36 kilos? Oh, kilos, yeah. I thought you were talking about pounds. 36 kilos and over 50 pounds. 56 pounds from my all-time high. That's crazy. 56 pounds. That's like a fifth of his body weight was gone. Yeah. It shows, too, if you go back and look at the videos. It's like, yeah, look at the videos from Yikes. late 2018. Because <laughs> that's when we got my age. No, I, I, I could tell. The comments were coming in. People were like, Drew. The fruit streams, for whatever reason, appear in my subscription feed the morning after it happens, like it got re-uploaded. Do you know why that is? No, I know. Uh, Zach says he'd be happy to train right us. Here. Hmm. I don't know how he can train us. Yeah, we appreciate the offer, Zach. I'm just really lazy. That's kind of <laughs> an issue. Can you train us, but don't ask us to, like, do, do anything? anything? I walked two <laughs> miles today. So that, I'm pretty proud of that. That's pretty good. And I used I, to go on more bike rides, but yeah. it's hard to get Speaking rides. of bike rides, there's his bike right <laughs> Except there. Except I don't ride chilling. that bike. He rode that bike, like, once and then realized it was not working <laughs> very yeah, the well. The shifter is busted. So it needs to be looked at by a pro. Yeah. Oh, Zach does online training. Online training. training. Okay. What does that mean? Online training. We have to subscribe to Apple Fitness Plus. Oh no. So we're going to cancel iCloud, but then <laughs> sign up for $7 a month for workout videos. Zach, can I think about it? Cause maybe like some, someday down the line, I'll change my mind, but I don't have the mental capacity right now. To do that. That's fair. I think. How about you, Drew? Do you want to do some exercises? Yeah. Oh, what if Zach could train you to be like super buff? <laughs> well, what if trainers? How does online training work? I wonder because it's oh. like if the when I picture a trainer, I picture someone that's like doing push-ups and complaining, and the trainer's like, "No, keep going, <laughs> you can do it." And do you just do that in video form? Or do you do it like a, a video call? You just turn on FaceTime and they're like, keep going. And you're like, I don't want to. I don't care. I asked Drew via Twitter to make a Taylor of Talks video giving us some of his story for us struggling with weight loss. Well, the, the story's still going. So I didn't want to do a video yet. Cause I, yeah, we're not at the end. I want to get... What's your goal weight? I'd like to be around 180. Maybe a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. And... It's it's normal for weight to fluctuate. So, yeah. My goal is to be like under 185, even with fluctuations. So even if I go to a family gathering or something and eat a big meal, I'm still under 185. Mm-hmm. So I've got a little bit further to go. I, I think Drew technically is within a healthy weight range now. According to Google, 189 is like 189 is the pounds, very is the cusp. Very upper limit of. No, healthy be weight at my height. Yeah. Um, some websites would say 189 is still overweight, but um, the site I was checking said it depended on bone structure. It was like Drew's some, got very big bones. Some bodies are just built wider. He's a big boned. I'm big boned. It's just kind of been in my family for a long time. We've always just kind of been like yeah more stocky. Also, Drew has milky. like tree trunks for thighs. I do have thick thighs. Because of his biking. <laughs> thick thighs save lives. <laughs> he said two miles is better than no mile. That's true. I'm beating the people on the couch. <laughs> which is me most days. So I'm beating myself. <laughs> uh, personally, I use We Fit Plus, And I try to take walks oh. very often. I do other things like Just Dance. I love Just Dance. She was asking. We did that for a while, remember? Did you do it with me? 
couple times. Oh. Or you just play the YouTube So we video. don't have a Wii and we don't have like any of those consoles. gaming consoles. Yeah, no consoles. So we just literally watch the videos on YouTube and follow along. I don't care about the score. Yeah. It's just like fun to get moving. Uh-huh. No, it's good. Yeah. I think it's mentally the most challenging part. Because mentally? Because when you work or you're doing something all day, you get like mentally yeah. drained. You don't feel and motivated to, yeah. to do physical work. Even if you haven't been doing physical work all day. That's why it's good to exercise in the morning before you do everything else. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm starting to work out at the gym on Fridays. Um, You get a So, Drew's sister has a gym membership. I don't have a gym membership. But every Friday, they have, like, a bring a buddy for free promo. So, I'm her buddy. So, whenever she goes, I'll go on a Friday. Mm. And so far, I've gone twice. And it's pretty fun. And I think I like it even more knowing I'm not paying for it. And I'm like actually using it, you know? Because sure. some people pay for a membership and then they don't use it. Mm-hmm. I'm the opposite. I don't pay for it and I use it. Mm. <laughs> That's clever. That's how you hack the system. Major hack. Um, Nolan also exercises in the morning. He says believe he believes video games work the best because they track his stuff. Oh, well, that's smart. I feel like Apple Watch do, does that. Also costs money, but at least it's not a monthly cost. With our income, upfront costs are good because it's like, once you have the money, you buy it, and now it's yours. You keep it. Instead of the monthly thing, which is like, assuming you will have money in the future. Okay, Zach says, I have a website that allows you to see what I offer. You basically get the workout plan, and I talk to you daily to make sure you are staying consistent, provide videos on how to perform the exercises. We appreciate that, Zach. Thank you. It sounds cool. I ha- I don't have a watch yet, but I plan to get a Series 3 soon. No! No one! I have a Series 3. Get the SE. You can find them on sale. Don't an get... SE? SE watch? Yeah. There's a thing called an SE watch? It's called an Apple Watch SE, but yeah. I have never heard of that. Really? Until now. Yeah. You should move in with an apple sheep or something. I'm kidding. Too late. (laughs) I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. This is probably, if you wanted a new watch, this is the one I would get you. If I wanted a new watch? If you were like, hey honey, I want a newer apple watch. (laughs) My goal is to use this watch and run it into the ground. (laughs) How old is it now? It's going to turn five. So it's 2017, really? Yeah. I remember when they came out. This is the SE. Oh, I don't like the aluminum. Oh, there's different. I like the chrome. Oh, you want the steel one. Oh, okay. Interesting. So they they do not I mean, if it's more expensive, I'll skip it. Okay. The steel is more expensive. Okay. But I like shiny things. Uh Uh-huh. Well, they usually have certified refurbished watches that are steel and cheaper. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? What? It's normally three ninety nine, and this is only sixty. Oh, save sixty dollars. I was like, that. it's only sixty dollars. Get it? <laughs> I always tried it. So, I don't know if I did this before I met Louise, but I always encourage people to look elsewhere for cheaper options. I did not tell you to do that. So you did that all on your okay. own. Okay. Well, the Apple certified refurbished. No, I remember because I I used that for the Apple TV way mm-hmm. back in twenty sixteen. So you. There have been parts of you that... I bought, like... I was frugal in most areas so that I could splurge on That's areas... That's true frugality, actually. Yeah. It's not super frugal because I definitely bought things I didn't need. Yeah. But there were things that I cared a lot about because I used my iPad or I used my Mac or I used my phone a lot. Yeah. So I would say like, food is one place you weren't frugal. Oh, that's true. Because, like, you could have eaten out uh-huh. and just reeled it back a little bit. Yeah. Because you had a little kitchen. You could have cooked some right. things, but and you I, ate out every single yeah, day. Yeah, I like never used that yeah. kitchen. I bet you shame. spent about $1,000 a month just on food. Because you were eating out a, all the time. Lot. Yeah, it was bad. And it wasn't like cheap things all the time, you know? Mm-mm. Like going to McDonald's, that's 15 bucks. Yeah. No, I was usually getting... That's mm-hmm. why I was so fat. Because <laughs> I was supersized. <laughs> but... <laughs> Supersize me. Um... Yeah, Save the... Save 200, what? Where does it say that? There. Wow, that's Oh, yeah, good. the savings on the steel ones are really good. 
But I remember because Apple certified refurbished is practically mm-hmm. practically new. Like you could not tell the difference. Oh, that's a Series Seven. Um, that's impressive, actually. The Series Seven is what I have. Wow. And those are on sale now. And you paid like ten thousand for yours. I know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it drew, stop! Oh, I di- we died again. Dang it. Um, Walmart has the three for under two hundred dollars, and because of my financial situation, I can't afford the SE. Hold on. Hold on. This is what I live for. I need to beat that. Just make sure it's not T-Mobiling. I don't know what to do if it is, but watch this. I'm going to find Apple Watch SE. On Amazon usually has the best deals. Um, so one, done. It's 40. Mm-hmm. This one. Apple Watch SE 40 millimeter space gray, $195. So it's under 200, way better watch, it'll last way longer, and the display is way bigger. Series what? It's SE. Oh, SE. That's the one that most people, I think, should get, because it's it covers the basics, and it's not too expensive, and it still looks good. It still has, like, a the bezels on your watch drive mm-hmm. me nuts. I can't stand it. I don't notice, honestly. You're, you're comfortable with it, huh? What? Are we frozen again? No, it should be good, but... Thank you for the link, Zach. I appreciate it. Simple I have to go link. for the night. Like I said, the prices have listed would be altered for you guys as a thank you for the entertainment oh. you provide us. Well, that's Wait, very where'd he send the link? Probably Discord. Oh, okay. We mentioned that earlier. We'll take a look. Yeah, we'll but check it out. I think now's a good time to end. Do you have any final thoughts? Thank you for joining. How was the meal? It was awesome. That was gone too soon. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't stop myself when I, when I have a good plate of food in front of me because... Yes, you can. Just, You're doing better. Well, at having more self control. When I start eating, um, I eat whatever is there. Yeah. <laughs> but we appreciate you joining us, and um, we'll see you again soon. Take Bye, care. guys. Have a good night or day. Bye-bye. Good morning.